Hey everyone, it's Jeremiah from Alamance Battleground and it's time for another Tryon's March real-time update for today, June 14th. The parole for today is Epsom and the countersign is Croydon. And I am joining you from the town of Hillsboro. 249 years ago today, Governor Tryon's militia was entering the town and was going to encamp one mile east of town at Fuse Plantation. That's where I'm filming right now, actually very close to the home site of William Few. In the 18th century, this is the home of the Few family, but in the early 19th century, this is the home of the Kirkland family who built Airmount, a very large plantation house in the early 19th century, which is actually still standing and uh, is a uh, public historic site. And Tryon's militia encamps here after a very long march. Over the past six days, starting on June 8th, Governor Tryon's force starts marching west from Bethabara to Hillsboro, and they're trying to get to Hillsboro as quickly as possible. And in six days, they cover about 85 miles marching. And so as they get to Hillsboro, they are extremely foot sore, they're worn and ragged, and they're in pretty rough shape. So they're looking forward to a few days of rest here. And as they arrive in Hillsboro, they are going to be a much smaller army because as they are leaving Bethabara, Governor Tryon orders General Hugh Waddell to take 600 men and the bulk of the artillery and to go west. So he is going to order Waddell to go through the western counties and to put down any remaining regulators who might be in those areas uh, where, quote, the spirit of rebellion still exists. And so the forces is going to split. Waddell goes west, Tryon goes east, and over those 85 miles in six days, they're going to cover a lot of ground. The campaign journal doesn't really have much during that time. Uh, the orderly book doesn't. It really just shows that they, uh, they camp, they march, they camp, they march, and they continue on as quickly as possible to get to Hillsboro. And when they get into Hillsboro, obviously they are in rough shape. Not only have they gone 85 miles in six days, they have also gone from the beginning of this campaign nearly 400 miles, approximately 370 at this point. And so the soldiers in Tryon's militia are in very rough shape and they're trying to uh, pass some orders as they're getting into the town that are going to improve morale and are going to improve the appearance of the troops as they march through this town. So one of the first things that Tryon orders as the militia is going to pass through Hillsboro uh, everyone, the officers and the enlisted men, are ordered to cock up the sides of their hats and to hold them up with a sprig of oak. And so that's going to add a little bit of uniformity to all of the troops as they go through. Uh, in two days' time, they're also going to be issuing a very important order trying to find as much leather as possible to be given to the shoemakers who are enlisted in the army. And they're going to have those men start working on shoes because most of the men in Tryon's militia are marching in bare feet at this point because of the rigors of the campaign and the distance they have gone, the bad weather they have camped in, they really have uh, blown through a lot of their shoes. And so they are facing some of the issues that armies in the field would commonly run into during the 18th century where shoes do not last forever. And so they're going to try to get their men well shod uh, at this point in the campaign, uh, especially since after they leave Hillsboro, they have uh, another 150 plus miles to continue on. So they are going to try and get shoes for their militia. And as the army is passing through Hillsboro, one more command, they are told that they will keep their ranks and they will march with spirit through the town of Hillsboro. So even though they're in rough shape, their clothing I'm sure is very worn, they are going to uh, march with their heads held high and with good organization. They'll keep their ranks and they'll march uh, with spirit. So they march through town, continue on one mile east, and they march here to this site, to the home of William Few. And uh, this site is chosen because of Few's relationship to the regulator movement. 
it is believed that William Few is a sympathizer of the regulators. And if that last name Few is ringing a bell, that is because James Few, who was hanged on May 17th, that regulator who was hanged the day after the battle, that is William Few's son. And so in the campaign journal, it is noted that when the army gets here, the horses and the cattle of the army are turned out into the fields to graze here uh, because, quote, the owner having been very active in promoting the disturbances of the country. So the Few family is not held in high regard by Tryon or his officers, so they're going to use his property as an encampment for the army, and all of that livestock is going to graze here on his fields. The army isn't going to do much else here during the next few days. Similar to Bethabara, this is a chance for them to relax a little bit, especially after the long march they've had over the past week. And really the main thing that Governor Tryon and the officers are going to be engaged with is going to be the trials for treason that will be taking place starting tomorrow for these regulator prisoners who were captured at Alamance and have been with the militia the whole way, including people like Benjamin Merrill, uh, Robert Messer, uh, Harmon Cox, and uh, many others. So we're gonna talk about what happens to those prisoners in my next video, which is gonna be on June 19th. That will be after the trials wrap up. Those continue on for a few days. Over the next couple days, the trials will continue. And then on the 19th, we will see what happens uh, for those who are found guilty in those trials, how punishment uh, will be uh, made. So I'll be back again on June 19th from Hillsboro again to talk about what happens after these trials wrap up. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again in Hillsboro on the 19th. Thank you. Have a great day.